Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to send an email with the help of your C-Sharp Windows Form application. So it can be any email service you can use. You can use Gmail, Yahoo or any big player which provides uh, email services. So it's not bound to any one particular email service. So what I have done is I have taken these text box labels and a rich box and the button. So first of all, I have taken a rich text box from here, just drag and drop here. And this is for body of my email. So this in this rich text box, I will write the body of my email. And I named this rich text box as body itself, B O D Y. And in a similar way, I have taken six text boxes and six labels. And I changed the text of the labels according to the functionality of the text boxes. So take labels from your toolbar, toolbox and drag and drop here six labels and change their text as from to subject SMTP server username and password and takes it six text boxes from here text boxes drag and drop and name them as first is for from text box so I named this text box as from second is for to so I named this text box as to third is for subject so I named this text box as subject fourth is for SMTP server so I named this as SMTP fifth is for username so I named this text box as username and sixth is for password so I named this text box as password and I have taken a button and I change its text as send okay so these six text boxes six labels one rich text box and one button these things you should take and just change the labels and the names now we will go to the code just double click this send button and go above your code and in here you ne need to declare these two namespaces first is using system dot web and second is using system dot net dot mail so just declare these two namespaces above your code now just below that we need to define something for the password because I have taken here if you can see a password field and you don't want to show your password or user don't want to show his or her password to the outside world so what I have done is in this uh, code section I went to the main form public form name so my form name is form one so I go here th in this public method where my initialize component function is there so every form code contains this initialize component function so search for this initialize component in your form declaration and in here I have provided some character instead of uh, the real character so this is the name of my text box for password so this text box and the name of this text box is password okay so I copied this password text and I go to the code and I paste it here dot password care is equal to single quote and inside whatever character you want to show instead of your real characters okay 
so I want to show this star sign or asterisk sign instead of my real character or password so just write this line where your initialize component function is there okay just one line so this will hide your password from the outside world now once again we go to the main form and we go to the this button and double click this button and in here I have written my code for sending the email so first thing you need to declare is this ma mail message object is equal to mail give it any variable name I named it as mail is equal to new mail message and inside this bracket I'm passing four argument first is from argument so I copied the name of my from text box so my from text box name is from and I have passed it here from dot text so it, it it will take the text from my from text box and it will pass here as a first argument in a same way I have taken the name of my to text box and dot text so it will pass whatever uh, is present in my to text box it will pass as a second argument comma third is the subject text box so subject dot text this will pass the subject of my uh, email and fourth is the body so this is the name of my rich text box body dot text so it will take the body of the text and pass it as a fourth argument so I uh, first write this line of code which takes four argument from to subject and body now we will declare our SMTP client which will take the SMTP server so write SMTP client client is equal to new SMTP client and in the bracket you need to pass whatever you will write in the SMTP text box so this is the SMTP server text box so just copy the name of this SMTP text box in my case SMTP and in the code just pass it here dot text okay okay so this will take the SMTP server name for your email service for example you are using Gmail in the case of Gmail it's SMTP dot gmail.com uh, or in the case of Yahoo it's smtp.yahoo.com so if you don't know the SMTP setting of your uh, email provider just go to your Google search and write the name of your SMTP provider for example Gmail so I write Gmail SMTP settings and it gives me some links that provides gmail's smtp settings so when i click one link it opens the settings and it gives the details so it takes the server name as this it takes the username as the username of the gmail address it takes the password as gmail password and the port number it will give and the ssl or TLS requirement Gmail in case of Gmail it's yes okay so all these uh, information you can find on internet so I'm using this information here so here write your SMTP text box name dot text now just copy this client variable paste it here dot port is equal to 587 so this is specifically for Gmail so when I searched on the internet it uses these port 
फोर सिक्सटी फाइव पोर्ट और फाइव एटी सेवन सो आई एम यूजिंग दिस फाइव एटी सेवन पोर्ट दिस इज फॉर जी मेल स्पेसिफिक मेल्स ओके सो दिस इज फॉर जी मेल फाइव एटी सेवन पोर्ट now once again copy your client variable paste it here dot client credential is equal to new system dot net dot network credential and then here we will pass the username and password so i copied the name of my username text field which is username itself and this i have copied and pasted here here dot text comma password text box name dot text okay and next once again copy this client dot enable ssl is equal to true why i have taken this because when i see the gmail settings it says gmail smtp tls or ssl is equal to yes that's why i have taken this enable sss ssl as true and then in the last step you just copy this client dot send and in the bracket just pass this mail message variable here and if you want you can show it in the message that your message has been se sent so just pass your success uh i mean your message text success or message is sent or whatever message you want to show once your mail is sent okay so just write this code for sending your email if you want you can pause the video and copy this code and now we are going to run this program so run and in here i'm going to pass some values so first is from so from is the email id from wh from where you want to send the uh email so i write my email id from which i want to send the email and two is the uh, email id to which you want to send the email so in this case also i will write the same email id because i want to send the email to the same email you can change it whatever you like to which you want to send your email then the subject so i will give subject as test email then the smtp server name so in my case because i am using gmail you can see here smtp.gmail.com so this is the smtp server name so smtp.gmail.com then the username so when i if you can see uh, in the settings the username is same as the gmail address for gmail okay so i will add here the same email id which i have in the from text box and here i will give the password so just see here it will not give your original password which you are typing but instead of your password it gives the star sign because we have set the settings not to show our password so i write my password and then i will give some content so hi youtube please uh, subscribe and some some text whatever you want to write okay now i want to send this so i will just click this send button 
and my message comes my mail is sent so now let's see if my mail is sent or not so I will go to my email ID and yes my email ID uh, I'm I receive this email on my email ID so in this way you can send an email with the help of your C sharp windows form application in the next video I will show you how to attach attachment with your email so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now